Hi everyone, welcome back to the Beauty Brief. Um, so I thought I would film a makeup look that I've been wearing a lot of recently and I would describe it as a kind of soft glam makeup look. Um, this is the current look, so if you want to see how I did it then just keep watching. First of all I'm going to mix a little bit of my Armani Luminous Silk and I'm mixing one pump of 4.5 and one pump of three. So I'm just going to use my Real Techniques sponge and just using my fingers I'm just going to dot a little bit all over my face. And I normally go for a kind of medium coverage. I don't um, normally do a full coverage. So just using the sponge, using the flat side, just blending it in. And down the neck and up to the ears as well. So I normally do like to be able to see my skin through the foundation. So I normally do like to be able to see my skin through the foundation. Sometimes I'll go for a slightly fuller coverage, but I still like to see my freckles. So once I've done that, I normally go in and do my brows, and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in soft brown. So just use a little spoolie on the end. I'm just going to pull this mirror in. I need to pull this mirror right in to do my eyebrows. So just um, bear with me. And I normally brush through them. As you can see, my hair is really fair. So you can't really see my eyebrows until I put something on them. And then I start underneath. So again I don't go too full with my brows. Oops. I normally find with brows if you start at the bit that's the hardest to do um, and just get that out of the way. That's the easiest way to do it. So, I know. so once I've done my brows I just brush through them just a little bit just to soften them. I don't like them to be too squared off. I just like to be able to see them. I'm then going to go into my eyes. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I'm just going to use my finger. And I'm just going to use this as a base all, all over my eyelid. And do the same in the other eye. All the way up to the brow. And then I'm going to get a big fluffy brush and some translucent powder. I'm just using one from Shumura that I've just put in this little in the lid. And I'm just going to set that powder. This, but I'm going to take a little bit of tape. Just I don't know what this is called. It's not cell tape, but it's, it's probably I think less sticky than cell tape. And then I'm going. I'd like to get a slightly sharp line, so I'm just going to place the tape just in the outer corners of my eyes. Just running from the lower lash line up. Looks a bit silly, but it works. And then I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So I'm then going to go back in with my big fluffy brush 
and I'm going to use a colour called Wanderer from the Tarte Cosmetics palette and I'm just going to put that through my crease. Tap off the excess. And into the corners. And then do the same on the other side. Once I've done that, I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of a warmer tone and I'm going to take it from this bronzer. And again, just put that through the crease. Then what I'm going to do is take this colour from Laura Mercy in Bally Pink and it's a pinky champagne colour and I'm just going to take my finger and just place it on the centre of my eyelid and just into the corner as well. And then just go back in with your fluffy brush and blend the edges. Next, I'm going to use a gel liner from Maybelline. I, it's called Eye Studio Lasting Drama, um, Lasting Drama Eyeliner. It's just a gel, black gel liner. I'm going to take a slightly pointed brush from Bobbi Brown, dip it into my pot. What I'm going to do is pull my eye slightly and just drag it along the outer corner just on the edge of that tape. And then quickly take a buffing brush and just buff the edges. And then just do the same on the other side. So pull the eye if you need to. Bring it along the outer corner. Just hitting the tape. Don't worry if you go over the tape because that'll be that'll come off. And then just buff it in. So the whole idea now is that when you take the tape away you'll have a nice clean line which I do so I'm just going to add a little bit more of that Bally Pink eyeshadow just to the centre of my eye I'm then going to go back in with my gel liner, take my angle brush and I'm going to go in the waterline. I find this is the longest lasting eyeliner, pencil liners just do not last on me. So you kind of get that feline flick, it kind of elongates your eyes. So it's quite a good way of, of um, getting a flick without having to faff about with a liquid liner. Um, I prefer doing it this way on me personally, I feel like I've got more control over it um, and it's a little bit softer as well. Um, next I'm just going to go in with concealer and I'm using my NARS Creamy Concealer in, I think this is vanilla, yes. Just under the eye area. Move the forehead a little bit. 
And then do take my beauty blender and just blend it up. I'm then going to powder. So I'm going to powder under the eyes first. Um, I'm just going to use my beauty blender again. And I'm going to use the slightly pointed side. And I'm just going to go in with, a, again, just a translucent powder. And the one I love is, Sh is the one from Shuamura. And place that under the eye. And then I'm just I just powder generally through my T zone. Then I'm gonna get a fluffy brush, just a clean brush, and buff. I've kept this area clear of powder. I'd like to use my Benefit What's Up highlighter, so I'm gonna avoid putting powder there. Um, oh, I'm going to put some shadow under my eye actually, just to smoke it out a little bit. Um, any darker colour, I'm going to go with, I'm going to mix Natural Beauty and Dreamer. So that one there, and this one here from the Tarte palette. And I'm just using this brush, I absolutely love this brush, it's a Real Techniques, always forget the name, I think it's called a blending brush. Anyway, mix those colours together, tap off the excess. And just smoke underneath the eye. Make sure it's all blended. When any harsh lines. And now we're going to do mascara. So I love this mascara. It's the. Uh, who is it by? Rimmel? Yes, Rimmel Extreme Black Volume Mascara. It's fantastic. I absolutely love it. I would recommend it. So I really do love the whole glam look. But personally on me, I don't like wearing... I like a kind of softer glam. I don't like a really heavy glam. I do really like... A a smoky eye, but I don't like to be wearing too much at once. So I'm then going to go in with some bronzer. I'm not going to contour, I'm just going to bronze my skin up. And I am just using the, although it's called Magic Contour Bronzer. Anyway, it's the um, Rosie for Autograph. It's a good one for redheads. So just bronzing where the sun would naturally hit my face. And my cheekbones. Down my nose, a little bit of my chin. I thought I'd add a little bit of a peachy blush, so I'm just using Peach Party from um, Soap and Glory. It's a really nice kind of peachy tone blush. And I'm just putting it on apples of my cheeks. Pulling it up slightly. Through the temples in a little bit. It's got a nice kind of sheen to it as well which is lovely. To finish off the highlight, I'm going to go in with my current favourite highlighter and it's the Benefit What's Up and it's a lovely champagne gold colour and I'm just going to swipe it along the cheekbones, one on each side. And then I'm just going to use my finger just to blend it in. 
I find your fingers the best thing to use. The heat from your finger just helps it blend. And then I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger. Yeah. Just take a little bit of that thumb off. And just put it through the cupid's bow. Down the nose. Brow bone. And in the corners of the eyes. So that's normally where I put my highlighter. Next, a little bit of lip liner, and I'm currently loving Plum by MAC. So this is probably a look, a look that I've been wearing a lot recently. And then what I do is just use my finger and just blend it in a, a tad. I find this just keeps my, um, my lipstick on my lip liner on for a little bit longer if I put it all over my lip. And I'm then going to go in with Twig, which isn't a colour I really wanted, but we'll go with it, um, from MAC. So last but no means least, I'm going to pop on some individual lashes and just using some um, uh, individual lashes from Ardell. So this is my current favourite makeup look. I would say it's probably a kind of soft, glam look um, and it's a look that I've been wearing quite a lot. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>